everybody, welcome back to Prepper Junkie. Today we have a Colt AR-15. This is in their LE lineup and it's the CR6920 model. Um, yeah, let's dive right on in. Okay, so what comes with this? Um, the rear backup sight does come with a 30 round mag if you live in a state that allows it. And it comes with a gun lock and your years of manual from Colt. Okay, so let's start at the back here. We have a kind of a typical standard M4 uh, carbine stock here. Nothing to write home about, but they do, they do function just fine. Um, it does have a sling attachment right here. Uh, then we have a mill spec buffer tube here, um, and the castle nut has been staked twice, and the staking looks excellent. Uh, moving along, we do have, again, another standard uh, charging handle. Um, I'm not a huge fan of these, as you probably know, um, but they're just such a simple fix um, if you want to change that out. Again, they function just fine. It's just something. It's just personal preference. So uh, moving up, this Magpul site at the back here does come with it pre-installed, and that obviously lines up with your front post right here. Um, now, because we have this on here, because of the way that we have this handguard here, this is the only real space that you'll have free. It's enough to fit on a red dot, um, or something like that, but really nothing much else is going to fit up there. Um, and it, is, it does have your T marks here also. The upper and lower receiver is 7075 T6 aluminum, which most upper and lower receivers seem to be coming in nowadays. Um, there is no markings on this side. On this side, though, we do have the Colt Pony. It does say Carbine uh, 556. Um, and then it's got the Colt Defense right here engraved also. Boat catch and release, safety, everything standard. Your charging handle, uh, excuse me, your uh, forward assist, your brass deflector, and your mag release. Again, everything is a, just a standard AR-15. Moving down, again, we have the kind of the cheaper furniture here. This, again, it works just fine. Um, but again, not something I'm a particular fan of. I usually switch these out pretty quickly. Um, but you do have the grip here. Uh, moving along, we have a mil spec trigger. The, the trigger pull weight is about six to seven pounds. Um, it's not particularly smooth on a take up. It's only a little bit of take up. It's not particularly smooth. The brake's pretty nice. The reset's okay. Um, but again, it's just a mil spec trigger. It just it, it, it works. It does what it's supposed to. We have a flat trigger guard right here. I do prefer the curved trigger guard um, just because it gives me a little bit more room. But again, functions just fine. These are just personal preference things with myself. Your magwell is slightly flared out there, um, so you can put the magazine in a little easier. Uh, moving on up, this is your delta ring, this part right here, and this holds in your handguard piece right here. So you'd pull this down or you can use a tool to pop this handguard off if you want to replace it with some other kind of furniture. Now I realize you're going for that kind of classic look, um, but this handguard is pretty fat for what it is. Um, I'm not sure I particularly like how wide that is personally. Again, personal. this is all personal preference. Um, you know, it's not just plastic, you do have a heat shield in here. Uh, also, so when that barrel starts to heat up, it's going to hopefully keep your hand uh, from getting too hot uh, from that barrel. You do have a front post here. Obviously, this is attached to the barrel. Um, if you want to, if you don't like having a front post on here, you know, you can cut these off, but it's a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> if you've done it before, you're probably just going to switch the barrel out. Um, you do have a sling attachment right here, and your barrel is a 16 inch barrel. It's a one and seven twist, and it is chrome lined. Um, and it is chambered in 5.56. And again, if you don't know, um, if your barrel is stamped 5.56, you can shoot 2.23 and 5.56 out of your barrel. If it is stamped just 2.23, you can only shoot 2.23 out of that barrel. You cannot shoot 5.56 also. Um, and then we have an A2 birdcage on the front right there. So that's pretty much the outside of the gun. Um, so let me just take out the bolt carrier grip and we'll go over that. So uh, this is their bolt carrier grip here. Um, the gas key has been staked and the staking looks good. It is not branded in any kind of way that I can see on here. So overall the, the fit and finish looks good. Um, it's nice and smooth. There's, there's, there's no machine marks or anything like that. Seems just fine. Let's put this back together. Okay, so uh, let's talk about Colt a little bit more. Um, now they, they stopped selling to the civilian market a, a little bit ago for a little while. Um, I don't know all the ins and outs on that. Um, I, don't, I try not to get into all that kind of political stuff, whatever reasons they did it. Um, some said that you know the market was oversaturated at the time and, and whatever else, I don't know. Um, but this is their first rifle back to the market since they decided to come back. Um, 
it's a pretty decent offering. Um, you know, these are coming in at about $1,000. From what I can find out, um, again, don't take this verbatim, but from what I can what I can find out, it seems like they're doing what some other manufacturers, manufacturers, other gun companies, I should say, are doing is they're outsourcing the parts and they're having them probably shipped in and then they're probably getting them built at the manufacturing plant before they ship them out. Again, um, I'm just, I, I, it, was, it was trying to find that information was a little hard. Um, but from what I from what I can find out, that seems to be the case. Um, so you know, as I say, you know, BCM does things like that. They have extremely high standards though for their materials and everything else. So who knows? Um, overall quality, I mean, it's an Air 15. The overall quality is good. Um, I had no problems with it. Um, I don't really like the furniture. I mean, that's going to be something that I would look to upgrade: charging handle, buttstock, grip. And I don't really like how thick um, the handguard is. Again, that's a personal preference thing. You might actually like that. Um, but for me, I would need to put another couple hundred dollars into this gun to kind of get it where I would want to be. And that's not even including a trigger. Um, so just be aware of things like that. There's a lot of offerings in the AR-15 world, especially around that thousand dollar mark. You can get, um, you know, Smith & Wesson Sports, which have been phenomenal. Uh, you can get really nice PSA guns for that price. There's a lot of things around about that $1,000 mark. But if you want that Colt name and you want that Colt stamp, this is your gun. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, any comments, please ask them below. I'm always happy to help out if I can. If you haven't hit that like and subscribe button, please do so. It doesn't cost you a dime, but I greatly appreciate it and it really helps the channel out. And that's pretty much it. All right, folks. Until next time, we'll catch you later.